Shelby and this video is on how to turn a slug day around. Sometimes you may start out your day with the best of intentions. You have this idea in your head, you are just gonna be like a lightning ball of productivity, get through every single item on your to-do list, kill it. Instead, your day ends up with you kind of like... Literally, what am I doing with my life? Everyone has those days and sometimes they're therapeutic and totally necessary, but sometimes you sit there like, I refuse to waste this day. I am going to be a productive member of society. Mm -hmm. So today I wanted to share with you some of my top strategies on turning my slog days around. Strategy one, do something that isn't on your to-do list. Say you intended to do a full clean out of your room until you turned into a slug. Don't do a full clean out of your room. Do not do that. Do something totally different, like reading that book that you downloaded ages ago that you just have not gotten around to reading. You're like tricking your mind into thinking that you're being unproductive because you're not sticking to your standard to-do list. But at the end of the day, you did something that you wanted to do so you can mark it off as a productive day. Strategy number two, exercise. Exercise is probably one of the easiest ways to get out of a slug mindset. I encourage you to do like whatever is easiest for you in your slug mindset, whether that be like 50 jumping jacks, jogging on the spot. <laughs> whatever you do, I recommend getting to the point where your heart is like legit pumping and then you'll be like pumped up, ready to tackle the whatever is left of your day. Strategy number three, eat and drink like water. Can we discuss the impact that food and water has on your mood? We all know hangriness is 100% a thing, but like my hangriness personally turns into like lethargy, crazy laziness, and just like generally bad vibes. So eat something really easy to make, have a glass of water or three, and your mood will radically change. Strategy number four, connect. Human beings are literally wired for connection. If you're feeling super unproductive, super sluggish, ask yourself like how long it has been since you've actually made contact with another human being. If the answer is like a longer time than you're proud to admit, then maybe you should just like pick up the phone, call a friend. Strategy number five, gratitude. And I feel like this has come up a lot on my channel lately, but gratitude truly really just like filling yourself with a whole bunch of gratitude, just being crazy grateful about stuff is such a good way to change your mood. I challenge you when you are feeling like a slug to write out like 50 things that you're grateful for and not feel good at the end of that. Strategy number six, sleep. Ariana Huffington has a TED talk literally about getting more sleep to be more successful. If you only got five hours of sleep last night, like firstly, you're too wild to be watching this channel. And secondly, you need more sleep. Set an alarm, have a nap, wake up, and be more productive. <laughs> Strategy number seven, pick a single focus. So half of your day may be down the drain because you've been feeling like a slug, but you still have half a day left. So I find a lot of the time, the reason that I feel sluggish or like, lazy and unproductive is because I haven't made a decision about what I want to do. Pick one thing that you're like, yep, this is what I'm going to focus my afternoon on doing. The expectation on you is like way less than like power through your whole entire to-do list because you're single focusing on one thing and hopefully your brain will be like, okay, that's something that I can tackle rather than be like, no, I'd rather watch Netflix. Strategy number 10, take baby steps. Strategy number 11. Honestly, sometimes you do just need to sit back and go, hey, I've had a really rough week. I deserve a slug day and do nothing with your afternoon. It's definitely great to like turn a crappy day around and feel super productive at the end of the day, but I think it's also justified to have a break once in a while and literally not move from your bed. It's healthy. It's good for the soul. So if you guys have any tips and tricks that you use to get yourself out of that like bad, negative, gross space, I would love to hear them. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already and I will see you soon. Oh, I appreciate you so much. To surround yourself with only the things that bring you joy to help you establish the life that you want. Choose what you want to keep 